Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play the Binding of Isaac Challenge Runs. We're going to do something interesting this time. And in order to do this, I think I will go as Isaac. It seems like the most fitting character. So as always, I'll explain the challenge run now in the first room. Basically, it's been suggested that I do some light side, dark side runs. Or some angelic, satanic runs. So there's no restrictions placed on this run. Other than I can only pick up items that you would cl classify as like light side items. Well, I've already taken two damage. So for example, uh, hearts, no problem. Picking up hearts, I don't think uh, Jesus Christ would have a problem with. Healing yourself, hell, that's practically in the Bible, isn't it? I'm sorry I said hell. Uh, faith hearts, again, totally biblical, angelic even. But, uh, if I have the opportunity to make a deal with the devil, I cannot make it. Book of Belial, Necronomicon, things that might be considered the occult, or satanic, or evil, I can absolutely not, not pick up. So this will be our angelic run. And try to remind me to stay on task, guys, here. Now, I figured this would be a relatively easy run because there are no restrictions. I can use bombs, I can use keys, I can shop, I can do everything everything I would otherwise do. What do we have here? This is Mom's Contact. Mom's Contact causes enemies to freeze. I don't think the Lord himself would have any problem with corrective eyewear. So let's pick that up. Is that maybe... Maybe that's uh, there's some religion that does not allow the modification of your body in such a mundane way as, like, eyeglasses or contacts. But I think I'm mostly in the clear for that one. I'm sure this one is gonna spur some great debate in the comments over, like, some item that I pick up that is... I think it's light side, but it's actually dark side, or I think it's dark side, but it's actually light side. And that's cool. We'll stimulate some debate on that subject. Better keep all our critical thinking skills fresh as we're watching, like, hour 22 of this Let's Play. This floor was pretty nice to me. You know, I could have used the D6 to re-roll, but Mom's Contact is an unre-rollable item in my eyes. Uh, anything that gives you whoa, anything that gives you good effects on your tears is definitely worth holding on to. Plus, you never know if I re-roll it, I might get some item that can, I can only use light side, or sorry, I can only use dark side, right? I think the dark side run is actually going to be a little bit harder. We'll, we'll make judgment calls as we come to them. So we're fighting against famine here. We're going to get a cube of meat, having defeated this guy. Um, cube of meat, I think that would definitely fall under, uh, fall under the, the guise of, uh, you know, biblically, or an angelic thing. After all, it's meat, but it's not Sunday, so we don't have to go with, uh, with fish or anything. We're not supposed to abstain from meat on this day. So I think we'll be okay. If you're watching this on a Sunday, well then I apologize. Also, shouldn't you be in church or something? Those, uh, those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. You know, let's just keep hammering away at him here. Now apparently, uh, I mentioned this in an earlier video, but I, I was incorrect. If you get the cube of meat and you try to re-roll with your D6, you cannot re-roll it. You just get another cube of meat. So we'll pick up this cube of meat and then continue on. So on this floor, didn't really notice any difference at all, but hopefully we'll start to see some issues where there are some items that I can't pick up, or some items at the very least where it's, it's questionable whether I can pick it up. I can't think of what those are at the moment. Like right now I'm thinking, Gambling, that, that's that's not cool, right? I mean, I am breaking the ultimate commandment of thou shalt not kill already, so I'm already bending the rules slightly. But anyway. You know, I'm going to say this this should be a no gambling run. Simply because of the fact that I believe gambling is frowned upon in religious circles. Most religions, anyway. The religion of Vegas and Charlie Sheen's religion, respectively. Not so, uh... Not so down on gambling. They tend to be more enthusiasts. If I could only shoot this grandfather fly. I, I just did not respect my elders there. Tarot cards. I think those could, could be considered perhaps satanic. Definitely a cult, so I will not use this tarot card, and I should not pick up any tarot cards for the rest of this time. At least when I'm able to not pick them up, but I will definitely not use it. Now what about pills? I'm not using the pills recreationally, I'm using them with... Whoa! Using them for a good purpose, but would pills fall under an angelic run? I think they would, provided I didn't know their effects. Hey, come on, Grandpa. Again, not respecting my elders here. Is that a rule in the Bible? Respect your elders? I don't think so. Let's open up the item room, see what we get here. Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk is possibly the most holy thing on the face of the planet. Uh, and definitely not worth re-rolling, so we'll just continue with that. Unfortunately, I can use another key in order to open that chest, but I don't have one so far, so we'll just continue onwards. So far this is looking very, very similar to a vanilla run. 
but there is a, a noticeable twist, depending on what kind of items we come across. It's a shame, because obviously, for a while there, might as well blow this up and just see if there's other items in this box. Uh, obviously not. Uh, for a while there, I was really relying on uh, the nail as basically a crutch to help me beat the game. So without the nail, things could be interesting. I think I did not have the nail when I beat the last game. Or when I beat the last... The last time I beat the game, let's use this pill, see, is it angelic? Bombs are key. I think that's angelic enough. We could go back for that chest, but I'm lazy, so let's not do that. We'll just go fight the boss. So I beat the, I beat the boss of the game last time in the blue baby run without the Book of Revelations or the nail. The nail in particular. Uh, but, you know, not having the nail is still kind of a hurdle for me. Wow, this guy's gonna go down so easily. Chocolate milk. There's quite a number doesn't get frozen for as long as I would like. But that's okay. Ah, that's stupid damage. That's like my trademark saying, I think, in this let Jesus Christ. In this let's play, is stupid damage. Why is this guy asleep for so fucking long? Just come after me. There we go. Alright, so we gotta deal with the devil, but we can't do it. I'm not gonna reroll that dog food. I think it's a pretty good item to have. And also, eating dog food? That's kind of angelic. I don't think there's anything, uh, anything satanic about that, unless someone forced you to eat dog food. I'm eating the dog food of my own volition. That's free will. That's as God would have wanted it. I'm not offending anybody religious. Uh, believe me, I am speaking entirely tongue-in-cheek. Over the course of this video. Yet another key for me. That's good. Hopefully I'll get a chance to use this D6. Because... I haven't yet. Normally I like using the D6 pretty early. Sometimes at my own expense. But we'll see. Hey, we got the item room already. Let's go check that out. What do we got here? Yum heart! I would say that is angelic, but I want to keep this D6, so let's change it. Mom's pill jar. Well, taking my mom's pharmaceuticals, absolutely not angelic. That would fall under the satanic scale, so we'll continue on this way. Oh man, my guy looks messed up. He looks janky. I can't believe I took damage to that. So stupid. I might as well just go use the yum heart once. Oh, but I can't because I switched it out for mom's pill jar. So stupid. Why am I taking this dumb damage? I am one of God's own soldiers. Stop hurting me. So I will use this bomb back here to get to this chest. I think the satanic run is going to be a little bit more, I don't want to say interesting, but the build should be more fiery, let's put it that way. I should be doing a lot more damage on that build because I will be able to make deals with the devil, uh, which you know could potentially get me something like the nail or something like uh, you know the pact, which would increase my damage significantly. But for now, I can't complain about this, I got a pretty good build. Freezing charge shots. Wow. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say he's almost dead. No, he's not. He's just almost about to split. Having freezing effects against enemies is good. Because it kind of minimizes the problems that you're gonna face against these little devils right here. And yes, I would classify these guys as satanic. I think thou shalt not kill. It doesn't apply in cases of self-defense where killing is absolutely necessary. So, I don't feel so bad about that one. I do feel bad about sleeping with my neighbor's wife, though. That one is never going to come off the books in St. Peter's eyes. Let's murder these last few fetuses here. Probably something else that I could not be forgiven for. If I know anything about God, he's not a big fan of murdering fetuses. Uh, and this little baby's life. And continue on this way. Again, please note for getting a little bit offended right now, thinking Northern Lion's getting heavy-handed making jokes about abortion. That is not the case. Speaking entirely tongue-in-cheek. Come through this way. Murder this guy. That was easy. How about his little friend? I froze him. There we go. Spirit heart. Fantastic. Let's see what we got in the shop. Ooh, I wish I had more money. Let's try to find the secret room, because I would really love to buy either that HP up or the battery. I like having a run with no restrictions. I feel like I'm doing an awful lot better, even though I'm getting hit more often. Excellent. Three cents? That's not enough! Hopefully we'll get some more money. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to abandon two of the best items. I could also re-roll those items, but there's a, there's a heart, like an HP up, and a battery in there. I would have to be foolish to pursue that. One down. Oh, whoa. Oh. Cube of meat did some damage to him at that time. Ah, okay. Good. I think my keyboard's starting to feel a little worse for the wear. A little too much Isaac on this bad boy. Get it replaced. 
not a bad room at all. Silkworms and human popcorn. Human popcorn's a pain in the ass, because when you're about to hit him, he spits out a fly, and it just your hit your shot goes off that instead of off the actual the genesis of the enemy, let's put it that way. So come up here. Oh, missed on that shot. But didn't miss on that shot. One charge shot is enough to turn him into a pile of ash. Let's see, maybe we'll get some money after this boss fight. So we're fighting regular version of Fistula. I don't know if I've ever seen a boss drop money, but, you know, where would we be without wishful thinking? Take this guy down. Alright, there's one Fistula already dead. More soon to follow, I hope. Well, I thought I was going to get out of there without getting hit. The good thing about using Isaac, the reason I thought to use Isaac was kind of twofold. One, the D6 allows me to change any items that I feel are satanic for a chance of getting an angelic item. Also, yeah, my queue of meat is really wrecking some fools right now. And uh, it also allows me to... Uh, what, was, what was I saying? Oh, I just think Isaac is also angelic as well. He's, he seems like the most innocent character. So we get another HP up. Okay, dog food. Super angelic. And then we'll head down to the next floor, unfortunately abandoning that battery and that heart. Hopefully I didn't miss any money on the floor, or I am going to get torn a new asshole in the comments. So I hate the shit out of these guys. With their detachable heads. And a detachable penis once, but I lost it at a party. It's all the time. What do we got in here? Two cents probably, right? Well, no. Bombs and keys. That's cool. Feeling like I've got a pretty strong build right now. Whoa! Cube of Meat murdered all those guys before they could take me out. Fine by me. Room full of hoppers. Still better than a room full of leapers. Eight days a week. It's one cent. I almost got enough money to go to the shop. Hopefully there will be a cent drop in here. Oh, getting a little bit of, a little bit of slowdown. I'm not a big fan of that. Then, this guy dead. Hey, come on. Go. This guy dead. Focus on Buddy over here. Excellent. Come on. Come on. I hate these flies that just kind of wander around and don't do anything. More pills, let's use those. Bad trip, it cost me a heart. Well, that's what I get for experimenting with pharmaceuticals. Now, we got Spelunker here. You know, this could be considered witchcraft, so I'm going to change it. For x-ray vision, looking at girls under their clothing without their permission, absolutely not biblical. It's a shame, that's a half-decent item. Let's go check out what we got in the shop here. Explosives. Totally. Totally biblical. So we'll get Mr. Mega, he Mr. Mega here. My logic might not be perfect, but it's okay. Let's go check out this. Maybe the secret room is here. Ah, not so much. These bombs are going to do significantly more damage now. Which is a good thing, because we might use them to fight some of these bosses. Let's shoot this TNT. And that'll allow us to come through here get even more bombs. And remember that, that Mr. Mega upgrade does uh, increase damage... For all of your bombs, not just those initial five that it gives you. So I could use a bomb to get a key. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Come in here for this key. I think we're good to go down to the next floor. Hurdy gurdy. Let's blow its brains out. Here. Ah, I thought I could get out of there without getting hit. Definitely thought I could get out of there without getting hit twice. All right, gurdy, freeze. Yeah, get it because uh, you're frozen. I'm taking an awful lot of damage right now. Not a big fan of that. Just keep hammering away at it with substantial shots. Let's put a bomb next to it. Should be doing a lot of damage to Gertie. Yeah. Anyway, I only have two hearts left, so let's murder the shit out of Gertie with bombs. Because I'm getting a little bit scared. Okay, let's put a bomb right here, and then shoot it into her. Oh shit, that hurt me! Okay, we're in a dire circumstance here. This would be a nasty way to lose, considering... I should be able to take out dirty vanilla by now. Anyway, rotten meat. Super biblical. Self-sacrifice. Let's go down to the next level. So far so good. I haven't had to miss out on too many good items. X-ray vision is kind of a nasty one because it's going to make it a lot harder for us to find secret rooms. But apparently I'm not looking for secret rooms anyway. Okay, but I do have to pay fucking attention because I am getting hammered on. Hammerdan here? That's a Canadian accent came through quite strong on that, that sentence. Unusually strong. 
sure some Canadian's watching this right now. There isn't a Canadian accent. Well, I agree with you. The rest of the world doesn't think so. Extra nickel. That's something. Not as useful as a heart would be, though. Well, unfortunately, gambling. Definitely not permitted. Under most religions. So we will leave that slot machine, which is a shame. Because I could really do with some extra hearts right now. There we go. Make sure to take these guys out as well. And freezing them is going to make things a lot easier. Gives an extra bomb with that Mr. Megan nonsense. Okay. I got extremely lucky to not get hit there. But hey, you know what they say. You make your own luck. When I got good, I started getting a lot luckier. That's inspirational quotes from Northern Line. If you miss 100% of the shots, you don't take. Michael Scott. Uh, okay, so. Take out these double flies before they take me out. Although they're, they're doing a kind of a better job than I am at this point, considering I only have a heart and a half left. That was a really fun phrase to say. Heart and a half. I broke a heart and a half last week. Police said they'd never find the, the guy who did it. Uh, blow up this wall. Nope. Is it legal? Well, it's definitely not legal. Is it kosher? I don't know biblical terms. To blow up a slot machine? In God's name? Most of you are probably saying no, and I agree with you. We're coming to this next room. Slot machine's still alive. Hey, what is more biblical? What is more good or holy than giving money to people who need it? Whoa, I'm sorry! I didn't want to kill you! I wanted to say I was trying to save you. Uh, what does this pill do? Hey, tears up. Fantastic. And in here we've got a halo. I don't even know what it does. All stats up. That's pretty good. But of course, if I'm doing a biblical run, the halo is a no-brainer. It's the ultimate item. Apart from my Terminator eye, my guy does look pretty holy right now. Particularly with the tears of rapture on his face. Right, so these zombies should be easier to take out. Now that I have this, like, charge shot, which can take them out in one hit. Excellent. Turn them to pure fucking dust. Feels good, man. More bombs in here, and I've reached a dead end. So we'll come back the other way. This way. And I will use a bomb to get to that chest. Although I could visit the shop as well. Ah, uh, tarot, death tarot card. Absolutely not kosher. In the biblical sense. Not kosher in the, the pretzel sense. Or the salt sense. Come on, come on. There we go. With one more dead. This guy should be pretty easy to take out. What do we got in this chest? More bombs, more money. Making it seem like it would have been a much better option to go to the shop. As opposed to going... Ah, oh, levers! Fuck! Just get some, some lucky shots. Is all I need. There's two leapers down already. That eh, three leapers down. Dude died in a hang gliding accident. What an idiot. Oh, that guy's gonna murder himself. Fine by me. I cannot use this death tarot card. I cannot gamble. I, ah, fucking leapers! God damn it, let me out of here! Why won't you freeze? I have freezing effects, you're supposed to be frozen! I've only got two hearts, why? No, like, almost no hearts have spawned for me on this, uh, this run right here. This level, anyway. It's a shop, which I can't even go to. Shit, plant a bomb, run away. I got lucky there. Definitely use a bomb to get to one of these keys. Actually, you know what? I'll go to the other one as well, because maybe the secret room is hidden here. Nope. But hey, two keys. So now I can go back down to the shop, hopefully buy some hearts, maybe. Greed. Now's not the time, buddy. Why are you always such a dick? Yeah, not such a dick now, are you, Mr. Frozen Pants? Lots of money. Some keys. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, what I really need now are hearts, which apparently I cannot find for the fucking life of me. Could make this next boss fight kind of tricky. Let's use a bomb here on this tinted rock. Ah, oh, secret room and two spirit hearts. Crisis averted. And, wow, a lot of money. Definitely going to want to visit the shop on the depths part too, provided I get there. 
And then we will use an item or a bomb here. Maybe it'll let us get to those other two cents. Yes, it will. More hearts, more keys. Not so bad. All right, champion monstro too. Ooh, tough drop. This guy, this guy could be kind of a pain in the ass. But hopefully, we'll be able to freeze him and goad him into doing this uh, his laser trick. Or I guess it's really our laser. Trick. Yeah, freeze again. All right, this is working out well so far. Got him frozen like this. Could use some bombs against him as well, but. Freezing effect is working really well against Monstro too. Oh, that's not fair. He was he was frozen. He shouldn't be able to shoot me. Cuba Meat took that hit for me. Thanks a lot, Cuba Meat. QB, as I call him, in our personal life, where we are lovers. Whoa, 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 watch out. Watch out! Murder your murder your own flies, please. Whoa, thank you. I realize that's exactly what I asked for, but you you're kinda scaring me here, Monstro 2. Couple more hits. Ex oh, I almost went downstairs by accident. Wearing your mom's lipstick? Um, you know, that could be construed as homosexuality, which is definitely not supported. Reroll. Spoiled milk. Hey, everyone's gotta have breakfast before Sunday mass, right? So we'll come down here now. Up! Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Such a pain in the ass. These vaginal silkworms. Really want to find the shop here. Oh, Chubb, yeah, I'm really concerned about Chubb. Unfortunately, I've frozen, so that bomb is of limited effectiveness. Yeah, eat it! Oh, blew his body clean off, apparently. This is a bad draw for Chubb. I've got, like, the perfect setup for taking on a monster who attacks you with speed and eats your bombs. Excellent. More keys. Not that I necessarily need them right now. But hey, there's the item room. As well as the arcade, which I cannot go to because I'm prohibited by my religion. But on the bright side, I'm going to enjoy eternal happiness. So suck on that, homos! I'm just joking. It's this Book of Shadows. Blair Witch Project 2, definitely evil. Not, can't do drugs. Definitely, definitely illegal. Oh, Chubb again. I'm really scared. Whoop! I got a little scared there, actually. Maybe I've eaten my own words. Come on, buddy. Come on, B. Who's a big chubby? Who's a big chubby? I felt uncomfortable doing that. That's how I talk to all of my students in class. Who's going to the principal's office? Oh, who's going to the principal's office? Okay, there's an extra bomb. Come out of here. And continue moving towards where I hope the boss is. Or the item room. Or the shop. I'm not picky. I'll take pretty much anything at this point. I got a lot of strengths right now. Lots of money, lots of keys, lots of bombs, and the ability to pack some serious hurting power if I end up fighting mom right away. Ah, fucking zombies! God, the pains in the asses. God, that was a fucking sniper shot from that fetus. To the fetus of a fucking Israeli armed forces member. Probably a less clumsy way to phrase that. I apologize to anybody watching this who has previously served in the Israeli Armed Forces. Didn't mean to make a mockery out of your chosen profession. Also, please don't murder me. Extra key. Oh, nothing in here! In fact, uh, I want to get the fuck out of this room as fast as possible. To the point where I would possibly even love to use a bomb on the door. But actually, I think I might get out of here alive. And with some extra pills. Which allows me, at the very least, to get rid of that Necronomicon. Get some more money, some more health. And our pill gives us full health! Wow! Fantastic! Let's continue moving, and maybe we'll find the shop or the item room here. Blood bank. Donating blood. Absolutely so pious and holy. Taking money for it. Flesh of the devil. Incarnate, right there. Uh, I was bound to take damage there. Let's try to avoid taking a second hit. Whoa! Great shot on Larry Jr. there. Like I said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And about 65% of the ones you do, if you're as bad as I am at, at aiming in this game. There we go. Larry Jr. becomes a pillar of ash. Spear darts and keys. And there's the shop, exactly what I was looking for. There we go. We got some more of these J-Brones. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm loving it. You ready for your close up? Why are these, these guys take more than one full charge shot to kill? It's unbelievable. Excellent. And in the shop, we have, thankfully, not greed. Hey, the compass! Good orienteering skills, absolutely permitted by everyone's favorite good book. Let's re-roll this tarot card. Nothing at all, nothing at all. Uh, I'm not sure if any items in the shop actually can be re-rolled. In hindsight, that might have just been something I made up. Continue onwards and upwards. Might as well go directly to the boss. Unfortunately, I'm not sure whether the up route takes us to the boss or the side route. So I took the side route. Bad call on my part. Let's just blow up the door and get the heck out of here. Oh, lots of lots of leapers and bomb flies. Tough room for yours truly. Some of my least favorite enemies. Let's just, let's just get out of here. Fine by me. Ah, oh, stupid way to take damage. Come on, come on, blast assist. I got a blast assist removed once. Extra key, which I probably will not get an opportunity to use. Chub for the 58,000th time. Just hit him as much as we can in the hopes that freezing him will, you know, occur more often when we hit him more often. I'm not sure if it's... Is it better to fire a lot of shots that don't do as much damage or a few charged shots that do a lot of damage? I think if you're doing freezing damage, it's important to fire as many shots as possible, at least until they are initially frozen. Then hit him with one big chocolate milk. I'm telling you to poop on them. Hey, he should be dead there. He dropped absolutely nothing, which is fair. I mean, I don't find him that much of a challenge anymore. Let's plant a bomb here. Get the fuck out of there as fast as I can. Ah, I took one thing of damage. So stupid. Oh, shit. I <laughs> These guys can shoot through walls and, like, over rocks and shit. It's not fair. God damn it. Anyway, I still consider myself to be in a pretty good position if it comes to a mob boss fight with this, which it absolutely will, unless there's something amazing in this chest. Oh, there's an extra heart. Might as well use this. There's a key there. It's going to pay for itself. Whoa. And another key and another sense. Anyway, let's go fight mom. Whoa. So, freezing is going to work pretty well against mom, as well, of course, for our ability to do charge shots. So I'm going to save up charge shots for the leg, basically, and just hammer away at it. I would like all of these enemies to be dead, though. Because they're doing serious pains in my tukus right now. If you add ukus to the end of any word, it obviously automatically means you fight. Let's just watch out for the shadow here. Good. Mom's already down to, like, half health. I've lost a little bit myself, but that's okay. Fucking grandfather flies, man. Yeah, I'm taking more damage than I should, considering the amount of times I've fought against Mom. And nobody is getting frozen. I guess I am using Mom's contact against Mom. Which seems like an idea that might not turn out to do any damage to her. But now it's going pretty well. I've got... I think I've got a pretty good setup here. Seem to be doing an awful lot of damage to Mom. Taking out some of these enemies before she even gets a chance do some damage, but of course, as I mentioned that, I got hit. Let's take out this guy. Watch out for the shadow beneath us. Oh, or don't watch out for the shadow beneath us, apparently. That'll do it. More health, more dog food. Still, or a heart, anyway. Definitely still doing our Luke Skywalker-esque light side run here. And we're doing it quickly as well. Um, only 29 minutes to have defeated Mob is a pretty good time for us right now. Really should be focusing on taking out the bloody guys first, but as it just so happens, it was much easier for me to take out the guts. Or sorry, the brains. Whatever they are. We'll move to the right, because obviously that's where mom is. Ah! LJ. I, I walked into him. Come on. Come on! I've had so many runs end in the womb lately. I forgot what winning feels like. Maybe this poop will drop some hearts, though. This Larry Jr. has a lot more health than his counterparts. Come on, buddy. I just want to be friends. 
Eh, one heart. Okay, well that makes up for the six hits I took of damage in there. Not of acid, because obviously that would be anti-biblical. Okay, so we got the same room one more time, basically. Just hammer away at Larry Jr. while I'm free from the other enemies here. This is working out pretty well so far. How is Larry Jr. alive? He respawned his head. That's some beautiful craniogenesis there on Larry Jr.'s behalf. More hearts? Okay. Things are going much better now. Diglett, we have a recent history. And you can just go suck brick, kid, because I refuse to let you beat me for like six runs in a row. Hey! Don't make me get Doug Trio in here. I know how much you hate your older brother. A nickel. Well, that's absolutely useless. More diglets. I guess they, should, they really should just add Doug Trio to this game. That would be fantastic. And more Pokemon, really. Like, how awesome it would be if the final fight was against, like, Gyarados instead of Mom's Heart. Hearts? Half a heart. Well, that's, that's worth something, I guess. Mom seems to be down this way, so... No, one charge shot is enough. Very good to know. More bombs. Very close to the boss here is hopefully Skolex. Okay, well I gotta go give this guy some money. And great walking. God was definitely with me today. Hey! Is that the... That's not the Bible, that's the Book of Revelations, isn't it? Book of Revelations. Absolutely. Has to be biblical. It's a biblical item. It's a book in the Bible. We're fighting against death here. Um, what could be more holy than fighting against that which ends everybody's life? Death is the only thing that has killed absolutely everyone who has ever lived. Except for Aubrey de Grey, maybe. Uh, but, let's murder him. Uh, sorry, let's, let's kill him in self-defense, is what I meant to say. And freezing him while he tries to freeze me is working out pretty well. So what do we want to kill first? Death or Death's Horse? I want to kill Death first, because Death's Horse is actually kind of a good thing. It murders uh, all sorts of those zombies for us. And also could murder me if I don't pay attention. It's murdering him! And then it's gonna murder me! Oh my god! Well, Death's dead. So we get our next cube of meat, and we'll head down to the womb part two. Most successful challenge run so far. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it last. Oh, three lasers. Get the heck out of here. Picking up that second cube of meat. Absolutely not. Against God's will. Come on! How am I supposed to get out of this room? Oh, come on! Oh, actually, that worked out much better than expected. More keys. I could use some more heart drops, really. Keys are worthless to me at this point. God, if you're up there... It's me, Margaret. Uh, give me a sign. Uh, send me a dream. Send me the cutest girl I've ever seen. I don't know many Christian rock songs. Or Christian anything songs, really. Or religion, or songs from any religion, really. I'm not trying to be, you know, Christian-centric here. But obviously, Isaac is a, a game based in Christian mythology. The Binding of Isaac is a, something from the Christian religion. And also, Isaac's mom was watching Christian broadcasts on her television. So, we're in a rough situation right here. But there's always a chance. Lloyd Christmas rule. Something that hopefully will be added to Oh, fuck. Be added to TV tropes soon. Got, got some more health out of this room. Well, absolutely, we gotta say hello to this guy. It was really blessed walking on my part there. Oh, why did I explode him? Well, I've definitely got to get to that heart. I think I could just... Yeah, there we go. Again, some more blessed walking on my part. Well, at least this way, having taken the wrong path, we know we can use our bombs to bypass pretty much every room we come across, because it's obviously going to be only in one path from now on. And our Book of Revelations should recharge a little bit. Hey, fighting against two sloth, though, that's fine by me. What's the pluralization rule on sloth? Because it's two sloth or two sloths? I'm definitely not fighting against two, like, three-toed sloths. Oh, thanks for blowing up that secret rock for me, sloth. You really helped me out there. Book of Revelations and two more of these. Cannot use that tarot card, but cannot avoid picking it up. 
when I say cannot use that tarot card, remember that the tarot card is, is unbiblical. Satanic, if you will. So we're just gonna... Now, when you've got a room with spikes in it, normally you can get your, your doppelganger here to step on it. Step on the spikes, I should say. But, I could not do that, because the spikes were in the middle. So, in order for him to stand on them, I would have to be standing on them as well. But this, this case, I could use a bomb to blow him up. Or I could use a bomb to come over here. Let me show you. And then make him walk on the spikes for a few seconds. Gives a half heart for me. And makes me look clever in the process. How could I refuse? This, these guys are pretty easy to take out. Also probably one of the easiest enemies to take out when they spawn during the Mom's Heart boss fight. We're only one room away from Mom's Heart. A single fly. Another tarot card that I can't use, but I will take out this money. I'm not going to the arcade. I just donated some money to their cause. Alright, let's fight. It lives now. Mom's Heart, a.k.a. We'll try, uh, let's try our best anyway. We can take a few hits. Not as many as usual, perhaps, but still a lot. I got Meat Boy on my side. Meat Boy and I have a good track record when we work together. Whoa, I got lucky. Very lucky to not take any damage there. Could it be that Luke Skywalker is the first run where I've succeeded in this challenge run portion of uh, the Binding of Isaac lifespan? We're dealing with Monstro here. Actually, pretty easy compared to a lot of the enemies we could be facing right now. Which is a shame that like those early bosses become kind of the easier enemies, but I kind of like that when games do that. Whoa, almost got hit there. Whoa, Larry Jr. spawned in the middle. I wonder if that pattern always goes Larry Jr. then Monstro. It seems to. There we go. There's one Larry Jr. deceased. Second one frozen. Freeze him. Freeze him. There we go. He dropped some poop there that you know could potentially yield some items maybe. I don't know if the poop does yield items during this mom boss fight. So far, they're so good though. Things are going pretty well. Zombies. The path of the righteous is beset on all sides by the tyranny of evil men. I don't know the rest of the quote, but surely those of you who have seen Pulp Fiction know what I'm talking about. One more zombie down. Oh, there we go. Freeze him. Mom's heart is down to half health. Mom's heart is a living, breathing fetus, by the way. It's hard for me to get out of that, uh, that habit of calling it Mom's heart, even though it's quite clearly not. We'll freeze Lord of Flies here. Lord of Flies. Yeah, it's a Duke of Flies. Should make it almost unbelievably easy to take out. Mom's Heart will soon just start firing bombs at us constantly. But I'm doing it. Oh, well, there it goes. Okay. Ah! I couldn't get out of the way of that one at the last second. Let's plant a bomb here. How did that do? It seemed to do okay. Let's put another one up here. What's the frozen? Oh, yeah, yet another uh, significant chunk of damage delivered. Looks like Mom's heart is going to go down. Fantastic. I'm the world's greatest. And look, having defeated the game, they give me the opportunity to turn over to Sin, but I won't do it. Just defeated the game on my all light side challenge run. Not that bad, but things were a little bit harrowing down here in the womb. In the next video, watch my Darth Vader run when I do an all dark side run. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.